Hey guys, I'm Jack. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about math. Mathematics, commonly referred to as math, is a field of study that deals with the properties and relationships of numbers, quantities, shapes, and patterns. It involves using logic, reasoning, and critical thinking skills to solve problems and understand the world around us. Addition. Addition is a basic mathematical operation where you take two or more numbers and put them together to find their total, or sum. For example, if you have two apples and someone gives you three more, you can add them together to get five apples. This process involves counting up from the first number to the second number, and then adding any additional numbers. Addition can also be represented using the plus symbol, which indicates that the two numbers on either side of it should be added together. Subtraction Subtraction is another basic mathematical operation where you take one number away from another to find the difference between them. For example, if you have 6 cookies and you eat 2 of them, you can subtract 2 from 6 to find out how many cookies you have left, which is 4. This process involves starting with the first number and taking away the second number. Subtraction can also be represented using a symbol, which indicates that the second number should be subtracted from the first number. Multiplication Multiplication is a mathematical operation where you combine two or more numbers to get a total that represents the result of repeated addition. For example, if you want to know how many apples you have if you have three bags and each bag has four apples, you can multiply three by four to get a total of 12 apples. This process involves taking one number and adding it to itself as many times as the other number specifies. Multiplication can also be represented using the X symbol or the symbol which indicates that the two numbers on either side of it should be multiplied together. Division The division is a mathematical operation that is used to split a number into equal parts or groups. For example, if you have 12 apples and you want to divide them equally between three friends, you can divide 12 by 3 to get 4 apples for each friend. This process involves taking one number and splitting it into a certain number of equal parts to find out how many are in each part. Division can also be represented using the divided by symbol, or the symbol, which indicates that the first number should be divided by the second number. Equal The equal means having the same value. Quantity, size, or quality is something else. It is a mathematical concept used to show that two or more things are exactly the same. For example, if you have three apples and someone gives you three more apples, you now have six apples, which is equal to the sum of three and three. The symbol equals is used in mathematics to indicate that two things are equal. For instance, 2 plus 2 equals 4 is a statement that shows that the sum of 2 and 2 is equal to 4. In everyday life, we often use the word equal to describe things that are the same or have the same value or importance. Fraction The fraction is a way of representing a part of a whole or a quantity that is not a whole number. Fractions are written using two numbers, one on top of the other, separated by a horizontal line. The number on the top is called the numerator, and the number on the bottom is called the denominator. For example, the fraction half represents one part out of two equal parts of a whole. The numerator represents how many parts are being considered, and the denominator represents the total number of parts in the whole. Fractions can also be represented as decimals or percentages, and they are used in many different areas of math and everyday life, such as cooking, measurement, and finance. Percent The percent is a way of expressing a part of a whole in terms of a fraction out of 100. The word percent means per hundred. It is often represented using a symbol percent. For example, if you score 80 out of 100 on a test, you can express that as 80%, which is the same as the fraction 80 one hundredths. Percentages are used in many different areas of math and everyday life, such as finance, statistics, and sports. They can be used to compare different values or to show how much one value has changed relative to another. To convert a percentage to a decimal, you can divide it by 100. And to convert a decimal to a percentage, you can multiply it by 100 and add a percent symbol. Ratio The ratio is a way of comparing two or more quantities or values. It expresses the relationship between two numbers by dividing one number by the other. Ratios can be written in several ways, such as using a colon or the word to. For example, if there are four boys and six girls in a class, the ratio of boys to girls can be written as 4 to 6 or 4 to 6. 
Ratios can also be simplified or expressed as fractions, such as 2 to 3 or 2 3rd. Ratios are used in many different areas of math and everyday life, such as cooking, finance, and sports. They can be used to compare different quantities or to find an unknown value based on a known relationship. Decimal The decimal is a way of writing a number that is not a whole number, using a decimal point to separate the whole part from the fractional part. The decimal point is used to indicate a position value that is less than 1, such as tenths, hundredths, or thousandths. For example, the number 2.5 represents two whole units and five tenths of a unit. Decimals are used in many different areas of math and everyday life, such as measurement, finance, and science. Exponent The exponent is a way of showing that a number is being multiplied by itself a certain number of times. The exponent is written as a small number above and to the right of a larger number, called the base. The exponent tells you how many times the base is being multiplied by itself. For example, 2 raised to the power of 3 means that 2 is being multiplied by itself 3 times. Brackets The bracket is a symbol used in math to group together parts of an expression, and to show the order in which mathematical operations should be performed. Brackets are usually represented using different symbols, such as parentheses, square brackets, or curly braces. For example, if you have an expression like 5 plus 4 plus 3, the order of operations would require you to add 5 and 4 first and then add the result to 3. However, if you add brackets to the expression like this, 5 plus, the brackets show that the addition should be done first and then the result should be added to 3. Algebra The algebra is a branch of math that uses letters and symbols to represent numbers and the relationships between them. In algebra, these letters and symbols are called variables and can represent unknown or changing values. Algebraic expressions often involve adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing variables and constants to solve equations and inequalities. Algebra is used in many different areas of math and everyday life, such as finance, engineering, and physics. Greater than In math, the symbol greater than is used to represent greater than. When we say that one number is greater than another, it means that the first number is larger or more than the second number. For example, if we say that 5 greater than 3, we mean that the number 5 is larger than the number 3. We can also use greater than to compare other quantities, such as variables, expressions, or fractions. When comparing two quantities, we can use the symbol greater than to indicate that one is greater than the other. Less than In math, the symbol lesser than is used to represent less than. When we say that one number is less than another, it means that the first number is smaller or lower than the second number. For example, if we say that 3 lesser than 5, we mean that the number 3 is smaller than the number 5. We can also use less than to compare other quantities, such as variables, expressions, or fractions. When comparing two quantities, we can use the symbol lesser than to indicate that one is less than the other. Pi. In math, it is a special number that represents the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. This means that if we divide the distance around the outside of a circle by the distance across it, we will always get the same value, which is approximately 3.14159. This value is known as pi, and it is a constant number that is used in many formulas and calculations involving circles and spheres. Pi is an irrational number, which means that it cannot be expressed as a finite decimal, or fraction, and its decimal representation goes on forever without repeating. Because of its unique properties, pi has fascinated mathematicians and scientists for centuries and is an important concept in many areas of math and science, including geometry, trigonometry, calculus, and physics. Jack Video text and vocabulary and exercises I have uploaded to my website. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and give me a thumbs up and share. See you next video.